to answer the question of how do i reduce the number of proposals uh, from 20000 to around 2000 we can borrow the hint from how selective search works basically if you are using the selective search or edge boxes what will happen is that technique will be eliminating all the background regions from the image from your downstream processing that is it will not give the background regions to the roi pooling layer to do rest of the processing here it will only give proposals from those areas of the image where the probability of there being an object is higher so these regions basically so how about uh, borrowing the same hint and uh, slightly changing the design of my uh, design of my region proposal network so here what i can uh, do is uh, let's say if the sliding window position of uh, is this somehow i have to identify if uh, this is a foreground region or a background region that's it if it is a background region then uh, straight away i can eliminate the proposals but uh, practically how do i achieve it i can just add a classifier layer which will give me the foreground or background label and uh, for this i can use a softmax as the classifier okay and uh, this will be similar to the kind of classifier we have been using in the image net in the image net uh, we have 1000 uh, different classes so if the classifier is good enough to identify 1000 different classes this kind of classifier should be good enough to just classify whether the region is foreground or background if i can do the classification between 1000 different objects doing the classification for two different uh, varieties should not be an issue at all moreover this has another advantage uh, let's say after doing the classification i am able to eliminate all the background regions even after eliminating let's say i have i am left with still 5000 regions that are uh, labeled as uh, foreground the advantage of using uh, softmax is or any other uh, classifier that can give me a score is that i'll not only get to know whether it's a foreground or background i will also be getting a score that is for example if this is the sliding window position then uh, most probably the scores for foreground and background will be 0.5 each okay but at the same time if this is the sliding window position then the score for foreground might be 0.8 and for the background might be 0.2 okay so now what i can uh, do is since i have scores for all these uh, leftover uh, foreground uh, regions i can rank them according to their scores once i do the ranking then it is easy very easy to pick the top 2000 proposals okay not just uh, 2000 i can even vary the number of proposals that i can pick that is n i can keep varying maybe i can try with uh, 1000 proposals and see what is the level of accuracy if there is no significant drop in the accuracy then i can as well choose very few proposals so that the amount of processing i will do in this part of the network will be less instead of 2000 if i have just a finite proposals let's say the amount of processing i'll be doing in this part of the network will be very less so that's the advantage in uh, using the softmax as the classifier which will not only give me the label but will also give me the score okay this way i can try out with different values of n and uh, see which is the best compromise between speed and accuracy so the design of the region proposal network will be modified in this way for every bounding box regressor i will also have the associated classifier which will just tell me whether the region of the image is foreground or background and uh, not only that it will also give me a score and this nine bounding box regressors will give me the uh, dimensions of the roi proposals and this one will tell whether it is a foreground or background so this way i'll have nine bounding box regressors and uh, correspondingly i will have nine different classifiers for each of the anchor boxes so this is how i change or modify the design of a region proposal network to reduce the number of proposals okay so this problem is solved now let's quickly discuss how we are going to do the labeling for the anchor boxes for example if this is the image and uh, this is the sliding window position here uh, what will happen is to this orange box i will label this as foreground and the uh, red and the blue box i can label it as background okay and uh, similarly in this box i will label this blue box as a foreground and the rest as background here the red box will be labeled as a foreground and the rest will be labeled as background please note that here i am showing just uh, three anchor boxes for clarity actually it, there will be nine different anchor boxes so this way by doing the labeling and uh, training these bounding box regressors each of these uh, regressors will become good at uh, predominantly identifying the square then the wide and the tall regions of the image and the same thing if it is uh, applied on uh, this image here i'll be labeling all the three of them as foreground okay so that way your bounding box regressor will not miss any object uh, within this sliding window even if they are overlapping